Jones is suing Diane Coles in the amount of $750. Ms. Jones claims Ms. Coles' sister spilled grape juice on her vintage hat during a church function, ruining it in the process. Ms. Coles claims her sister didn't intentionally spill juice on Ms. Jones, but was bumped from behind while carrying a full tray, and she shouldn't be held responsible for the accident. Ms. Jones, you're suing the defendant for $750, and I see the hat. Yes. And I've read the complaint, and you think this was purposely done? Yes, I do. All right, let's start from the beginning. How did you know Ms. Coles? Well, I've been a member, 20-year member of the first MA, AME Baptist Church, and um, 10 years as their head of the usher board. Oh, okay. And Sister Coles came into the church five years ago and she asked me to put her on the usher board and I told her in factly that as soon as there was an opening I would put her on. I put her on when we had an opening when you know it was proved by the first lady and we became fast for friends. All right so you reached out to Sister Jones and you asked her about being on the usher board. Yes I was eager like I was brought up in the church so when I came over to the church I was really eager to be a part. I didn't want to be a pew member. Yeah. As they say um, I wanted to serve in my church mm -hmm. so I naturally gravitated towards her and wanted to be a part of the ushers ministry. Things are going well. How is it that you all end up in my courtroom today? Well, what happened was um, the pastor Miller had come to me some months ago and informed me that I would not be catering. I was catering all the events. So and you I are not only the head of the usher board, <laughs> you are the caterer for the church. Chef. Mm -hmm. Okay, all mm -hmm. right, so you are the chef for the church. Yes. So then he uh, said to me that he would not need me this time, that I would not be, yes, I, I said the same thing. I was like, what, what, you know, what is this about? He said that um, it was already changed to someone else cooking for the first annual ladies uh, first ladies annual brunch okay, that we so, do every year. So every year there is a special brunch Honoring the first lady. Yes. Okay, and the first lady, I know this, but just in case there are other people who may not understand this, the first lady of the church is the pastor's wife. Wife, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. And so um, I said, okay. And so then some time passed, and he did ask me, could I still dish out in the meetings that we had, the usher board meetings, the um, responsibilities for that day, other responsibilities. And so when for I- For the brunch? Yes. Okay. And when I went to do that, um, and I was uh, talking to Sister Coles and telling her, she abruptly got an attitude with me and was like, well, I just, I won't be able to do that because I'm the chef and I'm doing all the cooking and catering mm -hmm. for the first mm -hmm. annual brunch. So how did you get to be the chief chef? Um, Caterer so, for the brunch. I pretty much um, started my own company, my own catering business, and I guess they heard about it. I gave I gave Pastor and First Lady Miller a sample of it, and they liked my food and they wanted to give me the opportunity um, and you know let her have the day off. But she did not like that at all. Um, she started acting out. That's completely. not true. I did not act out. No, really? I did not. I congratulated her and I told because her nice, cooking nasty. is phenomenal. Her cooking is phenomenal. And I told her well, that's I was very happy of you to for say. Her. She said that she paid you a wonderful compliment. She said your cooking is phenomenal. Yes, yeah, she did say that, but it's it's the nice nastiness behind it. Okay, so now <laughs> we get to the point where you are catering the first lady's brunch. You've done it all these years. But I'm assuming that you clearly attended. Yes, I did. Okay, so I what attended, happened? And so um, she hired her sister to be the waitress All of right. the brunch. Okay, so are you a member of the church or you were just helping out that no, day? No, I'm not a member of the church. Okay, so I don't need to call you Sister Coles. Okay, <laughs> no, I'm, just... I'm, I'm Paige. Okay, Paige. All right, good, yes. Paige. All right, so you're helping out your sister who's responsible now for the brunch. And you yes. are a guest? Yes, I'm a guest. All right. Yes. But prior to that, she started to have an attitude, and she was showing up late to all of the meetings for the usher board. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's the one that had the attitude. That kept me a little bit late, and I called, and 
tried to tell her that I was going to be late, but she did not pick up the phone or answer any of my texts. So messages. late for meetings or late for church to serve as an usher? Both. Yeah. Both. Coming up. On Were you jealous that she Very. got the brunch assignment and mm -hmm. you'd done it for years and years? No, I wasn't jealous. I will say that I was a little sad, but not jealous. Mm -hmm. And then I got over it quickly because I was happy for her because she has the catering business and I knew it was good for her business. So and now I'm let's get to just let's let's get to the day that you claim that her sister who was basically on her team mm -hmm. of serving at the brunch, yes. purposely damaged your hat. Tell yes. me what happened. So what happened in the beginning of that day was her sister kept serving me cold waffles and cold coffee. No, no, no. no I did no, complain. No, no, I did no. complain to her. No. And then she would bring it back and it was cold and stale. And then I looked at the parameter. waffles. Yana, that is not true. That is I, true. Let me hear from her. What happened? That is not true. Okay, so I started serving Ms. Jones' table and first First off, she was being so rude. She was talking about people, what they were wearing. She was talking about the Gossip. sermon. She was being so rude. So first off, I did bring her out food that was warm and it was at the temperature that it is supposed to be to consume. And so she was telling me that this was cold. I know she was picking on me because I know she was bad at my sister. So she was saying, oh, this is cold. She tried to keep sending me back to the, uh, back to get her more food. And so I just felt like, okay, you know what? Like she's being really, you know, really rude right now. And, um, I went back to the back, got more food and she kept complaining, telling me I did not know how to do my job. Sister Jones. According to your complaint, Paige was, had a tray yes. full of glasses of grape juice. Of grape juice. Yes. And you're saying that she did this intentionally. She spilled the yes. tray all no. over you intentionally. Yes. But prior to that, oh, they good. came out of the kitchen, I guess, to really talk about me. And I'm not mean. I'm a very nice person. There were a lot of flaws there, but I didn't say anything about it. And when they got close to me, I could hear them talking about me. And she was no, telling no, really Paige was telling her that I was rude that. and that I was complaining about everything and that she kept bringing me everything hot, which was not true. You, Wait a minute. She no, said, no. Sister Cole said That's to her, no, I'll deal with her. That's what she said. And so what I gathered when she came behind me with that tray full of grape, little cups of grape juice, she flipped it on me. There was no one there else. She just flipped it over what on me. Oh, my I hell. Hell on this case. Tell me what happened. I did not flip those cups of grape juice over on her. Someone hit me from behind, and that's how the grape juice, it was not intentional. Accident. It was an accident. I apologize as soon as the, everything spilled on her. It even got over the table. It was not It was not just for her, okay? And so she's trying to say that I did this intentionally, but that is not true. Right, I apologize. Let me come down offered, and see this hat. <sighs> I even offered to pay for her cleaning services, and, she and said, that was that's okay. That's she told me she didn't need it, and, and she said that no, came I would take great, care of this. Great, she was great no. Aunt. Mm -hmm. Passed down She's to my grandmother. To really... Passed down to my mother. Passed down to me. So this is four room. generations. Yes, from Washington D.C. Aunt Gussie. Oh my goodness. And you offered to clean it? Did yes, you try I to did. have it clean? Yes, Sister I did. I, I did, and they could not get the stains out. I did offer to clean the hat. Yes, I've offered it. to pay for her services to get them cleaned because it was an accident. I did not mean for this to happen. So I tried to fix the situation by saying, I'll pay for your bill. But she's trying to say that we owe her $750. I'm getting ready to rule. How did we get to $750? I went um, to my family and asked them what they thought the value and my family that is living now, fourth generation, said that it would be about $750 in value. Is there some kind of compromise we can reach here today? Um, well, $750 is uh, a bit much. Yeah, that's a lot. I, I offered to pay for her uh, dry cleaning services. But that's only $30. I saw the bill. R right, yeah. I will, I'm willing to do that, pay for the services for her to get her um, But she cleaning. had it clean and it didn't come clean. Maybe she needs to go to a different cleaner. That yeah, I, mean, I, I have, have a cleaner, cleaner she that can go specializes to. in hat And cleaning. it's a little cheaper than that, too. I don't so. know. I don't know that this can come out. I'm sorry this happened. I'm having... Oh.
Thank you. Yeah, and I looked online. I saw a hat similar to that. Um, it was not. No, you could not see, find no, no, this no. hat. It's, it's not. It's because I'm looking at the hat and I'm thinking, oh, I could find her a hat like that. Yeah. But it's not. But it's not the hat that you go out and buy at a department store. This is a hat that's been in her family for generations. Um, I don't think this was necessarily intentional. It was not. It was an accident, it but an accident. you caused the damage to the hat. And so you aren't going to get Sister Jones every all the amount that you've asked for, but I am, given the fact that it's an heirloom, and given the fact that this has been in your family for generations, and I don't think it can be clean, I've looked at it carefully, I am going to award the plaintiff $250. That is the order of the court. We'll stand adjourned. Judge Hatchett has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $250.